welcome to my channel. Uh, today we did a little grocery haul. Uh, so this morning it was raining pretty badly and we don't have a car so we were going to take a bus out to Costco. But it was raining and we're kind of in, we're in a big city but we're in an area where our Costco isn't very close to buses so the bus that gets us there stops running at like nine o'clock. So we have no way to essentially get home from there. We have to do like a little, a little, like a 30, 40 minute walk to the nearest bus stop, bus stop. Um, and we didn't really want to do that raining and stuff like that. So we decided to order our Costco haul today through Uber Eats. Um, really nifty actually like we got a discount so it was actually cheaper to buy it through uber eats than it would have been in the store which i was pretty shocked with to be honest like i'm sure the bacon online is way more expensive than it would have been in store like it was 27 dollars online but we got a 30 uh dollar discount so our groceries came up to 155 dollars today uh let me show you what we got we get the low sodium bacon because we feel as if uh, we have the regular bacon. We will have a heart attack. So uh, we go for the low sodium one. This comes with four packs in it. Um, it said it was $27. We generally buy them around $19 to $22. But I'm just going to mark this up as the bacon was free because we got $30 off. Uh, this shrimp here cost, I can't remember if it was $17 or $20. But 50 to 70 shrimps. They're clean, detailed, all that good stuff. Um, I personally like them better raw because the texture of cooked ones and then you cook them again, just, I, I, it doesn't, I don't agree with it. It just, it grosses me out. Uh, and then we got the two bags of cheese. So this is the double cheddar cheese. Uh, it is 625 grams times two. You get these two big bags. Uh, I believe that that was $20 as well. Um, and then I have this half and half cream here. Um, I use this for my coffees. If I'm making mac and cheese, I'll do that. Uh, but this was $3.06. And, like and then I've seen these. Uh, I'm going to say it like the one girl on my one YouTube. So these are the ramen noodles. You keep them like refrigerated or frozen. And then... Yeah, but they're brown. They're made out of brown pasta or whatever. Um, I'm really excited to try these uh, new dishes with the shrimps and stuff. And then we got here some chicken. Uh, lots and lots of chicken breasts. Um, this cost, it says it was $31.42, but I believe I had $5 off of it as well. Uh, and then we have the English muffins here. They come in packs of... So there's four packs in this bag and it was $9, which is awesome. And compared to like what you buy at the grocery store, I believe they're $3 each at my local grocery store. So I saved about $3, got an extra pack. Um, we get our milk from here as well too. So 2% milk, a four liter jug, and we have a flat of Pepsi. My husband loves Pepsi. And then finally here we have Parmesan cheese. So I was going to get shredded Parmesan cheese, but it cost like $22 and it was 465 uh, grams. But this one is the petals. It was $17 and 600 grams. So I have a little bit extra. There's a cool new feature in um, Uber Eats as well too, that you can actually type in your membership number uh, into the wherever like before you check out and it actually collects points for your account which is awesome so prior i never wanted to order anything online because you don't collect the points for costco and i'm an executive member so like why wouldn't i collect the, the points right um but yeah no now it collects the points and i'm super super excited about that um i think i forgot about my soy sauce also i got a big thing of soy sauce we were like literally Maybe we had like a quarter cup left and um, yeah, we went through this. It took us about a year to get through this. We eat a lot of rice. Uh, next Costco haul we'll probably do next week. We'll have a little bit of a bigger budget. I need to get more rice um, 
and a couple other things more meat and stuff like that different varieties of it i like the shrimp so we'll stick with the shrimp the bacon and the chicken i was thinking about getting pork chops next time because they're nice thicker cuts at costco instead of those like really really thin ones that you get at the the regular grocery store and yeah um that's just my my little mini haul today i'll show you what it's like uh all together so just bear with me one moment here so this is all the groceries together. So it just came in one box and then the flat I just had to pick up by itself. Uh, excuse my living room. I'm in the middle of purging everything and cleaning. So there's kind of little Costco things there, this there, random little things, but you know, it's a process. It's a process. Hope everybody has a great day and uh, join me next time for my next Costco haul. Maybe we might actually go into the store this time. Maybe not. We might stick to online because it seems to be really convenient. And it also limits us to shut, like when you're in the store, you buy so much unnecessary stuff. Um, I think this might actually help with like sticking to the basics and sticking to a budget. Cause whenever we go into the store, we blow our budget out the wall. Like it's, it's bad. We go in there intending to spend like $200 and we come out with like five, $600 worth of stuff. So let's not do that. Um, have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you guys again.